Hey guys, Netrovec here, and today I'm going to be showing you the potential that bundles have in the new updates. So if you didn't know, there's been a bunch of new snapshots for the uh, the 1.17 update that just came out on Java. Uh, another one just came out today, or what will have been yesterday for when this video comes out. And uh, it added a whole bunch of changes, and I'm going to be messing around with, uh, with some of the command-related ones in the future. Uh, but for now, we're going to be taking a look into bundles. So if you haven't seen bundles before, this is what they look like, and they're meant to help with inventory clutter. It's going to pick up all these items and you can see them and this is the new updated UI so they've changed how this looks a few times now and uh, I think this is what they're going with and I love this this looks so much better than the last ones so basically a bundle can hold a stack of whichever items you want you can throw in whatever you want if something's worth more like an ender pearl for example since those can only stack up to 16 it's gonna take up more room but uh this is meant if you have like a whole bunch of random stuff in your inventory, it'll just help clean things up a little bit. You can put it in and when you're holding it and you right click it, it'll empty it and put everything into your inventory. And I'm going to make use of this. So I wanted to see how much I could break this system and I've been messing around with a little bit. So if I try and put in more than 64 items, it actually does hold it. So as you can see, I actually have 128 items in this, uh, even though the max is 64. So then I wanted to see if I could add some spacers into it. So if I type in this command, which will basically just make the first slot in this air, I wanted to see what that would do, and it actually works. Now it looks like it's empty, which is kind of strange, but when you hover over it, you can see that there's that empty slot to the left. The plus mark is always there, and I don't actually know how I feel about that because there is the bar at the bottom that tells you how full it is anyways, so it seems a little bit counterintuitive to add the plus there, but either way, this adds a little spacer into it, so we're gonna make use of this. So then I thought I'd try and completely break it and fill as many slots as I could, and uh, I got this. <laughs> So you're not very limited in how you can mess with these. You can do a lot with it, um, and these will go as big as you want. This is just where I decided to stop. So I wanted to see how I could use some of these in practice to actually make it useful in game. So let me just quickly show you what I've come up with. Now, I'm actually holding a bundle right now. This is retextured to look like TNT. And the cool thing is, if I open my inventory and I hover over it, it gives me this little UI here. Now I can change this UI to look however I want. I just put a picture of TNT because it's nice and easy to understand. Um, but yeah, you can you can put anything you want here. It's really cool. I imagine there's a lot of stuff you can do with this. But also I wanted to make use of the fact that when you right click it, it'll put all the items into your inventory. So I just made this little contraption here that basically just detects when you open up the bundle into your inventory. And you can do something like this. So all I'm really doing here is detecting when the retextured item in here uh, gets into your inventory, and when it does do that, it'll trigger the explosion. It's super simple. I wouldn't say it's necessarily better than using something like a carrot on a stick to detect if you're right clicking, uh, because if you look in the bottom left corner of my hop art, when I do activate it, you can see the, the TNT UI pop up for a second. Currently it's kind of hard to get around that, but... Uh, I'm sure people can figure something out in the future. If you're wondering how I made it cover the whole thing, uh, this is just a retextured stick. It's nice and big, so it covers up the whole thing. I just scaled it up so it fits the UI perfectly, and then I used a whole bunch of spacers around it to, uh, to get the outline of it to fit around it, kind of like that. So I kind of wanted to see how far I could go with this, and um, I made this. I'm sorry. But this just kind of shows some ways that you can use this. It's actually super high quality. You can make this image be any resolution that you want and it'll show up even in game. Also, if you wanted to, you can make this animated. So if you were on a server or something and you wanted maybe like an intro message or something like that, like whenever you get on uh, just some kind of video that explains stuff around the server or something like that, uh, you could just give them this and they hover over it. It'll play a whole video. Or, you know, there's a whole bunch of things you could do with it.
I think it's a really neat concept, and I'm, I'm sure that a whole bunch of people are gonna figure out some cool things to do with this. This was sort of just like a little intro into it, but uh, I might use this kind of mechanic in the future, make some better stuff, some actually like functional stuff. And if you guys have any ideas for what you could do with this kind of mechanic, let me know. Um, I'm super interested to see what you guys come up with. Anyways, that's about all I wanted to show you guys. This is just a little quick video showing you what you can do with this stuff. Uh, if you want to see more of this content, I'm going to be doing uh, some more videos on the snapshot related updates. So make sure you subscribe so you can see more of these videos in the future. And if you want to talk about these updates or give ideas or suggestions or anything like that, uh, my Discord's in the description below. You can join that. And if you want to support me, my Patreon's also in the description below. Any support goes a long way. Anyways, that's about it for today, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye!